prayer is the move of God. If you truly and you indeed want to see the move of God in your life, then you cannot do without the instrumentality of prayer because God moves when men pray. Let's go back to the very beginning. God said to Adam, I give you dominion over the fishes of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over everything that creepeth upon this earth. In fact, God gave Adam the power to name the animals. God gave him dominion. God did not say, I am going to dominate through you. God said, I give you dominion. It means that as a man, as a woman, God has given you dominion on this earth. It means that it is not time to complain when things are not going the way you want them to. It is not a time to say, oh God, why? Why did you allow these things to happen? Why did you not say this? Why did you? It's time for you to take dominion and understand that God has placed you in a place where you should begin to dominate and take charge of the situation around you. Take charge of your life. Take charge of your career. Take charge of your education. Take charge of your health take charge of your finances whatever concerns you god expects you to take charge take charge of the situation sometimes when things happen do not just complain how do i go about this thing okay i know that god has given me the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions understand scriptures understand the gift of authority that god has given to you and fully maximize it so in your career this year in your education everything that concerns you god expects you to to take charge and how do you do this it is through the instrumentality of prayer in this year 2024 you cannot afford to have a weak prayer life your prayer life must be on point it must be steady it must be consistent it must be constant it is not something you pray today and you don't pray tomorrow you pray this minute you are not praying the next minute it doesn't work that way if you truly want to maximize that authority that god has given unto you then you must understand the place of consistent prayer the bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much if you want to make progress in the year 2024 then you must understand the need for an effective prayer life you must understand that god cannot do anything on this earth till he uses the instrumentality the vessel of a man so will you avail yourself to be used by god this year would you avail yourself to be used by god in any area that he needs somebody to take charge of god is not running this world because he has given dominion to the sons of man he has given dominion to you you need to begin to take charge of that situation you need to say this year i refuse to stay in one spot this year i refuse to be stagnant this year i will truly make progress now that's the resolution you need to make in this year 2024 in this year 2024 i will make sure that my prayer life is not lacking anything that it should have it will have the consistency it will have that constant nature i will pray every day the bible says pray without season in jude 120 the bible says building up yourself in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost you cannot undermine the place of prayer in this year 2024 so in order to take charge in this year 2024 you must understand the need for a consistent prayer altar i encourage you today whatever you are doing whatever you have added to your resolution list in the year 2024 add the need to pray i need to pray in year 2024 begin to pray begin to build yourself take charge take dominion and see how your life becomes better please leave a comment if this video has been of any help to you do not forget to like this video also do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this do not also forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is posted i'll see you in the next video bye for now